What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Y'all already seen the title, you know what it is. Got the Ferrari 14s on deck, on foot today, and we're picking up the new reverse Ferraris. So, uh, yeah, I want to check them out in hand. We're going to go pick them up real quick and get back to the crib so we could check out what they look like. And, uh, yeah, I'm liking the way this looks in these pictures that I've been seeing, so that's the only reason I went after them. Comment down below if y'all went after them as well. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you too can be part of that 210 Guy Kicks fam. But without further ado, let's get up in there and pick these shoes up. All right, guys, so yet again another day. Here we are at North Star Mall. I'm gonna go pick these shoes up. Um, yeah, I don't know how I exactly feel about them yet, but I guess it was a little bit more of a limited release. They sold out in most plots. They are sitting on Nike though, in all sizing. Let me show the fit real quick. Got that Kicks on Fire shirt. Just some regular Levi's and the 14s, Ferraris of course. Hopefully y'all saw that correctly because I'm recording a little bit different today. So uh, yeah. But anyway, let's get to the store already. Man, I do have to say it is way back. It is a Saturday though, so I guess, but there's a hell of a lot of people up in here. Right now everything's shut down, but they did have the elevator going back, so I got up a little bit faster than last time. But uh, yeah, we're stepping up here into the house of hoops, as y'all can see. We got the Ferraris right there. And uh, yeah, let's pick these up real quick. Hold up. All right, man, y'all see it right here? It's probably gonna be the thumbnail. But uh, yeah, we finally secured the pair. But the guy was telling me in there, uh, we're here at Northstar, like I said, Foot Locker. Supposedly they only had 24 pairs, and they only had like 10 pairs left that haven't been picked up. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing they're kind of limited. I'm wondering if I should pick up my other size 11 and a half and just hold on to them and see what it does. But uh, I've done that a couple times, and it's bit me in the ass, so I probably won't be doing that. Plus, I'm not really a reseller. But, uh, yeah. Either way, I got a couple of little things that dropped in my account that I wasn't planning on. So these shoes basically ended up to like 60 bucks for me, so it's good. But I want to drop in shoe palettes real quick. Y'all can see that. I didn't really, I didn't really go in there last time because it was already going to close up. But there's a shoe, uh, a shirt that I wanted from that Gina drop. I don't know if they have it in store, but I'm trying to do the in-store load. If not, I'll just order it online. All right, guys. So we're back here at the house finally. I didn't record in Shoe Palace because I didn't have the shirt that I was looking for from that Gina drop. So I had to do a little online order real quick. And uh, basically the person that was there was just chit chatting about this and that and was right there the whole time. So there was really nothing to record anyway. They had the same stuff. And if y'all haven't seen my mall vlog from yesterday, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it up right here and y'all can check it out. But they really didn't have anything different. Y'all saw the bag. If you follow me on my social media, y'all saw it pop up. Has that classic box. Kind of similar, actually the same as the box for the Jordan 13. I did get a $20 reward for making today's purchase, so I guess, eh, kind of not too bad, I guess. But they are hitting us over the head, though, at that 200 price point. It ended up to $216.50 here in San Antonio. And, uh... Are they worth it? I don't know. I still haven't checked them out personally. Let me scoot over. I don't know how I do. I'm gonna give y'all that first glimpse. I can see that yellow peeking through. Bam. <laughs> do some thumbnail or something. But anyway, let me pull these out real quick. Uh, I'm gonna really go over the box. Y'all know what the box is. Same as the 13s of relief. Ooh, can I smell these things just show real quick I did get them in a size 11 and a half because my Ferraris that I have on foot today are a 12 and they're just a little bit big but uh, it just says Air Jordan 14 retro SC which y'all could see here University gold and black is the colorway and of course that that retail price like I said 200 bucks they hitting us over the head a little bit for it but uh bam here they are right here I just like the way that carbon fiber looks. And I like the 14, just uh, mainly went after like classic models. I did pass on the candy canes just because I've owned them in the past and I ended up selling them. So I said I sold them for a reason. Now, uh, 
Let me check these out. Let me, let's go over the shoe a little bit. Check the insole. I mean, the shoe tree out. Just your regular, regular shoe tree. Nothing too crazy. Oh, okay, okay. Has that little vent right there. was poking through. Oh, oh. I almost dropped the other one. But yeah, I kind of, I, I like the color around this. This shoe grew, grew on me, I have to say. At first, I was saying it was an easy pass for me. It does have like a texture to the leather. Kind of like a... Uh, like an orange peel a little bit like it's not really smooth leather even though it looks like it and mine looks like it has a scrape on it already look at that i don't know if y'all can see it if i can catch it on camera i'll probably throw up a picture i want to spend like 15 20 seconds trying to get that but yeah i got a scrape on one let me check out the other side it does look nice though but it looks like i don't know if you were to clean it a few times it'll probably just either get better or worse so that has me a little scared I'm not too sure but I do want to keep these in the collection since I do have the original Ferraris that's the reason I picked them up of course it does have that red Jordan on the tongue with that Roman numeral 14 of course the size tag y'all can see it right there it does have that QR code now that they're starting to use uh, it's not on the actual box or anything like that but it is on the interior and uh yeah i guess now you can start linking it you can see the bottoms right here of course it has that silver in the middle with the yellow jump man and the red hit over here still a dope shoe on the back has the red hits as well just a good color combo has that ferrari logo right there with the jump man in the middle and there's not really too much more to say about the shoe y'all can see the carbon fiber look material it isn't real carbon fiber of course and it does get a little crinkly as you can see right there when you do wear it but still overall a dope shoe in my opinion it did grow on me at first i would like i said i was gonna pass on it but comment down below let me know if y'all went after this shoe or if y'all slept on it it is sitting on nike some of the other sites uh, i believe jimmy jazz shoe palace and sites like that um sold out when i checked in the morning when i woke up and it also, if I didn't mention it, the tongue, behind the laces of course, uh, the tongue is a leather material as well. So overall, I'm satisfied with this shoe and I will be keeping it in the collection. That's why I picked it up. I'm not happy about the price point of 200, but I mean, you can't really do nothing about that. Didn't mention it has that little black jump man on the toe box of the shoe. And yeah, I'm pretty hype over this shoe. Not not too, too crazily, but I did want to pick it up to see it in hand, and I am satisfied with the quality on it. Hey guys, and I was already recording. I had finished up recording this video. I was recording a B-roll for y'all. And I don't know if y'all can catch it right there on camera. I'm trying to catch it. But it has a couple of flaws right here. Uh, man, it's hard to catch on camera, but I was checking it right now. Y'all see that right there? It's like the leather's already scratched or... 30 look at that that's pretty bad so i'm just trying to keep it 100 with y'all and show y'all the flaws that are in this shoe i think i saw some more over here but these aren't too too crazy y'all could see that stuff but uh yeah on that other one that kind of threw me off right there that's just making me think that they may get messed up pretty easily especially since i haven't even worn these these are straight out the box and they're already staying like that but uh yeah just throwing it in here just to keep it 100 with y'all just y'all could check it out if y'all thinking of buying these shoes that's that jump man on the on the silver aglets which i don't know if my camera will even focus on that i'll try to take a picture if it doesn't come out right there though but yeah it does have a little silver hit on the back right here which y'all can see just a small little silver hit to match with the hits that are on the on the midsole of the shoe or outsole i should say but uh yeah i mean i don't know like i said the shoe grew on me it does kind of have like a fuzzy feel to the leather so i'm not sure if it's gonna get better or worse after wearing them getting them dirty and cleaning them up but i guess we just have to wait and see see how that goes and this is actually let's see i want to kind of compare since so i'm wearing these shoes today give me one sec So I'm wearing these shoes today. I kind of wanted to compare 
Y'all can see on the original Ferraris, like the, what is it called? The carbon fiber is actually a lighter carbon fiber, uh, just by a little bit. And my stuff, damn, my stuff's dirty, but the actual chrome part of the shoe, I don't know if y'all can see it in the camera. Y'all see how it glistens right there? This one looks brighter on camera, but it's a little bit duller in person. In my opinion, it's not really like a chrome chrome, like, like the original Ferraris. I don't know if I can catch it. I mean, the light's hitting that one pretty good, but this one's an actual chrome on the actual original red Ferraris. This one is more like a, it looks just like paint. Like it looks more, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Like a matte finish, more of a matte chrome. And this one's just a straight up chrome. But uh, that's the biggest difference. And of course the material, I was hoping these would be suede. Um, but as far as anything else, I mean, of course in the back they have yellow and this one they have red due to the colorway, of course. But other than that, I'm trying to see the differences. Everything else is pretty much the same. It is a reverse Ferrari, so y'all see. On uh, the tongue, of course the red pair has yellow and the yellow pair has red. Now, could someone pull wearing it like that? I wouldn't try it, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to compare them real quick. And the bottoms, of course, mine I've worn them about maybe 10 times, 15 times. Y'all see that chrome hits a little bit more uh, actual chrome than, actually that one looks brighter, but this one's an actual, let's see, there we go. Y'all can see the difference a little bit. But yeah, just trust me, that one's more like a matte chrome. This one's an actual chrome and it has that yellow hit. But, uh, But I'm gonna try to give you an on foot of these maybe tomorrow because uh, I know I've been slacking on my on foot game. I haven't done that for y'all. I'm gonna give y'all the B-roll at the end of this video. I don't wanna take too much time on them since the shoe's nothing too crazy as far as colorway. There's not too much to talk about. You already know what the 14s look like. And on the interior, it's just a black insole with a red jump man. Of course, it does have that little men's size 11 and a half. And like I said, the QR code is on the tag. But yeah, guys, just comment down below. Let me know. Chop it up with me. Let me know what y'all think of this shoe. Easy pass. Must cop. You still on the fence about it? Are you waiting to see if they're going to go on sale? Comment down below. Chop it up with me. Let me know what y'all think. I personally dig the shoe, especially for summertime. Going to be a good shoe to rock. And there's a few things I got that can go with this. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you if you rock with me throughout this video, checked out the whole video. If you haven't already, as I said before, y'all can go check out my last video. It'll be the mall vlog where I went to sign up for these. And I checked out a couple of shoes that they had in stock there at the mall. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, it's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace, guys. To the next one.